Today in The Sims 4, we're gonna be trying a build challenge that was requested in one of my recent videos, the last swatch challenge. I've done this one before and it's surprisingly difficult, much worse than the default swatch challenge that we did recently. And today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, which is so exciting to me. I love HelloFresh and one of my 2023 resolutions is to make more homemade meals. HelloFresh is here to help and it is definitely my favorite meal kit delivery service. With HelloFresh, you can skip the grocery store because they deliver delicious recipes with pre-portioned ingredients right to your door. It's an easy way to eat well while saving money because instead of ordering expensive takeout, I can just cook up a fast and easy restaurant quality meal right in my own kitchen. HelloFresh is actually a great way to save money all year round because it's cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. I really gotta stop ordering that takeout. To show you what I mean, here I am in my kitchen unboxing some of my new HelloFresh recipes. I made a delicious zucchini linguine pasta, which was so easy and so quick that by the time I was finished, I still had so much of my night left to play video games and chill with the pups. And who doesn't love more time with doggy snuggles? So check out HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com and use code SIDMAC21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com and use code SIDMAC21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. So basically how this challenge works is for every single thing we place today, including wallpaper, windows, all furniture, has to be in the last swatch. So right here, you can see like this is clearly the last one. And I don't know if it's just my luck from previous times that I've done this challenge, but the last swatch tends to be the worst swatch. And it's very difficult to match items across the board. You have to do a lot more searching for items. It takes a lot longer. So our strategy here, since our color scheme might be a little messed up is going to be to build a really cute shell. That way, if the colors go haywire, at least we have a really cute shell out of it. So I'm actually gonna start off a little differently today. We're gonna start off by building a platform. I wanna build out a cute entry area using platforms instead of stairs. So once we finish building our platform, the shell will be going on top of it. So I'm gonna raise this up by like four, five ticks. I'm going to extend the side out a little bit more this way and raise it up to match. And then in here, I'm going to be adding my platform. So I'm just gonna draw a room. I find this to be like the easiest way to do it because once you have your room, you can adjust the platform in there separately. So I'm just gonna raise that up so it's gonna be right underneath the platform that I just put. So it's gonna be like a stairway like that. And then you delete the walls and we're gonna repeat that exact same pattern until we reach the ground. So this is what we've got so far. And as long as you have one tick separating there, like this is one tick away from the ground, that'll ensure that your Sims will be able to use that as stairs. We gotta pull out a couple tricks in a challenge like this, you know. We're gonna start building out our shell. I think I'm gonna bring it forward a little bit, allowing that space there for a patio if we want it. Maybe another bump out here, and then I'm gonna extend this over just a little bit. I'm basically gonna just copy and paste this on top of my shell for now. I wanna do two stories today. I'm building some bump outs over on this side. This is going to just be for like windows. We can add a little bit of extra roofing over on this side too. And then since we're already playing quite a bit with platforms, I think we're gonna take it one step further and I'm gonna take my platform tool, make sure my grid is on using G on my keyboard and I'm just gonna build out an overhang right over here. Maybe we can build a room on top of there. I'm gonna draw some walls underneath here so that there's something like holding that up, so just like one there too. And then we could even bring out a room here and make that like a really different looking separate room. I'm actually gonna carve out a space in the back here for my platforms and I'm gonna do the same thing over here in the back. Kind of just going off a whim right now again and I just wanted to make it look a little bit unique here. Under there, maybe we could do like a garden. It could be like an all seasons gardening area. For now, that's what we got. Okay, so now we're gonna roof it and I have an idea for something cool I wanna do. So first, what we're gonna do is grab a half gabled roof piece. I'm gonna put that here at the front and bring that in one tick. And I'm gonna use this adjuster here to bring those in. This one can actually be pulled across that way. And then I'm gonna copy and paste this, rotate it and put that one like right behind the other. Then from here, I'm gonna bring this out holding shift on my keyboard and bringing this adjuster with me, we're just gonna make that meet the other point. And now using eco lifestyle vertical lines, I'm gonna grab the last swatch, which is actually a gray. That's not that bad. We can keep with neutrals all the way through this. I'll be happy. <laughs> Basically what I wanna do is have these holding up that roof piece, but what we're gonna have to do because it's clipping to the wall 
walls is delete those wall pieces. That way I can place these a little bit more freely. I'm gonna have to play around also with different heights. Just kind of like that, checking and seeing if they reach. And I'm gonna have to try and get these to go on a diagonal. So I'll be raising them up, connecting them onto each other until we get it to reach the roof. And after all that work is done, now we have it lined up on a diagonal. It looks like it's supposed to be like clipping in like that. And I've changed my trim there to the default swatch, which is also gray. So we are getting really lucky there. I don't know about the roofing swatches though, but let's finish off the roofing here and see what we get. So over this way, I'm just gonna be doing the same kind of technique, bringing in the adjusters on the one side and then bringing this all the way across. I think I might lower it down so that that one piece is gonna be hiding underneath there. We can just like bring in one adjuster on one side. Maybe we can do another roofing piece right here, going one step further and adding like another little roof piece. I've got these little ones here, which I'm hoping I can do some glass with. Oh, okay, yeah, we can still do that, no problem. It's like a gray swatch at the end. And then for over here, I did say that I wanted this to be kind of like a greenhouse area. So I'm gonna go into Island Living. And Island Living has these floor pieces that are meant for like when you're over the water, you can look down and just see like the fish and everything. So we're gonna use these. And I'm basically just gonna put them all along the back here. So we're gonna be able to see through, but it's still gonna have some coverage there. And this is gonna be actually really cool because since it's underneath a roof, you'll be able to plant whatever you want all year round as opposed to having to wait for like seasonal things. So I'm just gonna use a couple of these here from Cottage Living. The last swatch isn't too bad. Maybe on top of here, we can do some window boxes like, oh my gosh, thank goodness. We're getting lucky today. I don't wanna jinx it, but like so far she's looking pretty cute. I think our strategy this time is working. Let's go ahead and get some wallpaper. And I think I'm gonna have to do some digging here to get like the color we want. I was thinking like cottage living brick could maybe be cute, but then it's gonna be very dark. I've already got the dark gray going on there. So I don't really wanna do that. Ooh, this one is like a default, just white one. Wait a minute. That might be the way we're gonna make it. There's a couple of swatches in like base game that only have one swatch. So if we can get away with that, like this one is really cute. I actually really like how that looks too. Maybe we can put that on just like a few bump outs. And even though our shell is looking kind of modern, I don't mind going in with this stone here. It sort of looks like this house has been renovated a little bit, but it still has that like old touch to it. Okay, we're gonna leave that for now. I still need to do some platform paint. <gasps> this one's default too. Oh my goodness. So one swatch there, not doing too bad. Let's try and get some flooring on here. Maybe we could do some stone. Like these ones all have one swatch too. So far so good. I'm a little nervous for the interior. Let's get a door. I'm thinking about this one. The last swatch here is a black one. We've also got this one here from Eco Lifestyle keeping with the gray. I'm wondering if like the last swatch for Eco Lifestyle is always gonna be gray because if so, that's my new favorite pack. I'm gonna have to redo my expansion pack rankings. I'm gonna need something for the platforms here. So I'm just gonna go in with like a dark concrete. We'll put that all along where just like the platforms are exposed. We can also do a door in the back here maybe like a glass door. That one's black there from base game. Oh my God, the last swatch is green. Oh my God, it's green for like everything. I don't hate that, but I would definitely prefer like a black if there's a black last swatch in here. Why is every single one green? I feel like this is the problem I ran into before. Eco lifestyle coming in hot to save the day again. I'm telling you, this is my new favorite pack. I don't care that Evergreen Harbor still isn't fixed. <laughs> it's my favorite. Oh my gosh, even the windows. Oh, okay, we're gonna do the windows here. I'm gonna do maybe these like bigger ones up at the top will just go underneath the roofing. So full open windows right there. We can do maybe one like right here. Some bigger ones down at the side here. Maybe like that. I like those on the side there too. I'm actually gonna build a chimney up just right here. We're gonna build one up and then we'll build a half wall right on top of there. For the last swatch for our half wall, I'm thinking it's gonna have to be that get famous one. And then we need to find a chimney that's gonna be dark. Oh, this one's gray. Okay, we'll stick that right in there. That's perfect. Maybe a little bit big. I'm gonna do a double up on this dark gray one instead. So my windows are done. I'm gonna start doing my landscaping. And I realized the last swatch here for the vampire's vines is this like really light green. So I'm gonna use these going up the side of my house. Hopefully this is gonna give off that like older yet renovated vibe. Maybe like a young couple took over it from their grandparents or just a family who loves older houses but takes care of this one. We're gonna put a fence around this as well. I'm gonna go in with this one here, the last swatch is white. Maybe I'll actually put that in between the pillars. So we'll just kind of like bring that around, section this part off. Maybe I'll put some stairs back there for like easy access to the garden. All right, so after the landscaping, this is what our last swatch only house is looking like. The Sims 4 is not forgiving here, but 
but we made it work. We've got lots and lots of gray on here. I kind of like that the house is almost like monotone, just with like the different shades of gray on there. A little bit of greenery from the landscaping. I also chose to decorate with like some of these dark brown swatches. Again, the last swatch available. And once I found something like from a specific pack with the last swatch, then I tried to match those items together. So I think we're gonna bring that strategy when we go inside. Along the back here, again, we've got like the dark brown furniture. I matched those chairs up at the front because I knew the swatch was gonna match. We've got a woodworking table back here, a little lounge spot and a barbecue back there. And you can kind of tell like these are not the first choice swatches that I would have chose. I added an easel over here. In the back area, we've got some chicken coops, our all seasons gardening spot over there. I made a pond, which I realize is kind of funny because there's like a pond right there. But I mean, at least they have their own little one. They can go and share the big pond if they want to. And then back here, because I wasn't sure if we were gonna have a family living here or not, I did add a swing set back by these trees with a little like fire pit back here. So tends to do for your Sims living here. So far we're having good luck. And if this is what all of my 2023 is gonna look like, then here you go. I'm just gonna sprinkle some good luck onto you too. Let's hope we can continue this on into the inside. Going inside, I haven't made a floor plan yet, but I did add some stairs just so that we know like where we're gonna have that. I'm kind of feeling like this could be open concept. We could do a kitchen back here somewhere. Maybe like in there could be the kitchen. We could do dining right here. We could do a big bathroom in the back. I might use dream home decorator doors here and then we can go in with like an older swatch like wallpaper, depending on if we wanna go with the older or modern renovated look. I was kind of hoping for like an older looking gray flooring. Maybe we could try these base game ones. Actually, let's do that one there. This looks a little bit older. We can bring this up into the second floor as well. But up here, I did wanna do a bedroom in the back here. I don't know if it's gonna be worth it. We could maybe do like a small bedroom right there with a bathroom right beside it. We could do a bedroom right here, keep that part open maybe. And I did want room for a living room. We don't really have a seating area set aside for the downstairs yet. So upstairs, we can do this. We'll do three bedrooms, one, two, and three. And then in the middle, we'll have a bathroom. We'll do a big living area up here, maybe like an office kind of over in that cubby there. This will all be kitchen and dining. And in the back, we'll have another bathroom. So let's start off in the main area. I want to find a wallpaper that's going to work. So I'm thinking my inspiration for today is going to be like a Victorian modern interior. I've seen this style popping up quite a bit recently, and it has like the paneled wallpaper there. It has older style like Victorian elements with like modern furniture. You can see a poof right there. I'm so into this style and it really upsets me that there's like no possible way for me to make this work in my own house because by the time I pick a style that I like, my mood changes and I want something completely different. Right now, my house is colorful. Next week, I'll want it to be gothic. You just never know. But it goes along with the gray color scheme. Maybe we can bring in some green in there. Let's try and aim for this. So the wallpaper I'm using is this base game one. I wish it was a little bit darker, but that's okay. We're gonna have to work with it. Let's start off building our kitchen. So for counter options, I'm looking at these ones here. The last swatch is like a black and white. We also have these ones though from Vampires where the white and black are like flipped. I do like the detailing on these a little bit better. So let's put those all along that back wall. We can put our sinks there. I had to find one with like a regular last swatch. Actually, that one's a little bit better. We'll use that one there from base game. I'm gonna put a big cabinet over on this side here. We're using the tallest wall height because of the platforms today. So I really wanna take that and use that to our advantage. We're gonna be using big old cabinets. I'm gonna leave those all open. Smoke detector we can kind of put in the middle here. Our oven can maybe go like right here. There is a black one here, the last swatch for cottage living. So I'm just gonna replace that with my counter there. Or actually this one here might match a little bit better. I think I'm gonna put a big chandelier maybe right when you walk in. That one is so pretty there from vampires. I added my fridge over on the other side, some cabinets right above there. And I think we actually have room for a bar too. So I'm gonna do a little bit of an island. Maybe we can have it facing this way. And I wanna get some more modern looking chairs in here. Depending obviously on like what we can find. We could do these ones here. These are black and white from Tiny Living. The garbage can, I think I'm just gonna put right beside the island here. And just because I have some room, I might put some shelving like right here. Maybe not so much, but we can fill that up with clutter. Some like antique things, if that's gonna be the vibe we're going for. This is hard because I'm really limited to the things that I can use. Like I can't, I wanted to use these plates. I can't, they are lime green. <laughs> Ooh, we could do that there, that works. These plates are blue, that matches. Anything that matches even remotely, I'm putting on there. So for our kitchen, this is what it's looking like. We've got all our clutter on the one side. Keeping it pretty neutral, actually. I'm surprised we're finding 
having as many neutral swatches as we are. On this side, we've got some clutter, just keeping it kind of clean on the counters there, just so we don't have too much mixing and matching happening. We still do have room for a big dining table right here. The one that I used outside is actually perfect. I don't really want to reuse it, so I might replace this one. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, maybe we'd be better off with like a smaller one. We have a white table here. We've got that brown one. Maybe we do that combination there, the white table with these black chairs from Base Game. The black swatch in that mirror is the last one, and all we need really over here is like an end table, maybe a rug. I think a fireplace in there would be really cute. The last swatch here is a black and white. Okay, that one there from Vintage Glamour is gonna be hidden in the corner. I wasn't really planning on doing a full living room area right here, but if this works out, I can put like a TV over top. The last swatch is a white. Ooh, the last swatch here is gonna match pretty well. This is from Discovery University. We can maybe put that right in the middle there and add some chairs like around the TV. The last swatch for this base game couch is black, which is kind of ironic because in the default swatch challenge, I used only base game and I was stuck with the default pink of this couch. So I think we got to use the flip side. Way better, obviously, in that black swatch. Just making sure we're not really covering our door. I might have to move that forward a little bit. Or we also have this paranormal one. I'm thinking maybe we do that, then it won't be covering our door as much. It's smaller. We've got the matching chair here we could use. Ooh, we also have this black hutch here, which I'm going to put in the corner. That's also from Paranormal. I'm realizing this is mostly about just like searching. The longer you search, the luckier you're going to be in this challenge. So if you attempt it, make sure you have a lot of time. I'm adding these curtains in here in, again, the last swatch. But what I've also been doing lately is using these here. They come with, what kit was it? The Desert Luxe kit. And basically what you can do here is make it look like your curtains are going over further than they actually are. And then you're able to leave the windows open a little bit so you'll still get the lighting like coming through the windows. I think these are adding like a really classic look in here too. I don't have a whole lot of room back there, but I'm thinking about squeezing some laundry. Luckily, we have the white swatch back there, so I'm gonna push it back. Maybe I'll have to bring my curtains in a little bit so they're not clipping with it, but we'll have kind of like a hidden laundry area back there. I kind of forgot that I wanted a kid to be living here in one of the bedrooms upstairs, so I found this trunk in a black swatch. I'm gonna put it right here. It's a toy trunk. There's toys in there. It matches my aesthetic. And my idea is like in the default swatch video that I did recently, it was a grandparent's house and like the kids came to visit. Maybe this can be their actual like parent's house. This is where they live. They go visit the other one. It all ties together. So this is what our first floor is looking like so far. We've got all the clutter, a lot of black swatches and like white kind of mixing in. We've got something to do down here for the kid. Not a whole lot, but there's something. And then on the other side, this is what it's looking like. We've got our dining room there, the mirror, some shelving and our kitchen in the back. Okay, let's try and do the bathroom. And in here, I found this funky wallpaper and we actually have a lot of room in here. So I think first thing I'm gonna do is bring in our curtains. These are probably gonna be the ones that we're gonna use through the whole house because it was really hard to find some that I liked. So instead of actually covering the windows, I'm just gonna put those right in between. And we're gonna use the curtain like mount to make it look like you could pull them all the way across, but they're not covering the windows, but you could, you get it. In the back here is a perfect little spot for a shower. Hoping to find a dark one in the swatches in here. I mean, maybe we could get away with that one from fitness stuff. Or this one is kind of perfect too. There's just like a silver swatch right there. We even have room for a bathtub over here, which we could maybe put on a diagonal. The cottage living swatch, the last one is black. And I sort of want to put like a lamp behind there. Would it be weird if I put a lamp above my bathtub? That's probably not a safe idea. Maybe instead we could use these like realm of magic lights. Maybe with a plant back here. So at least there's something. I'm moving my door over a little bit so that hopefully I'll be able to fit a toilet right here. Just like squeeze that right there beside the bathtub. And then over here, we can put our sink. I'm gonna use that one there. The base game last swatch is like a gray. And maybe we'll put a bunch of mirrors right here. There's only one swatch for that. So maybe we'll break up the pattern with this and we'll just raise it all the way up to the top. The towel options are brown, not the worst, but at least it's not like a hot pink or something. I mean, definitely not my favorite room so far, but at least we've got it going on in here. We've got everything we need. It matches the color scheme at least. Let's move on upstairs to do the rest of the house, which is gonna have all the bedrooms. I'm gonna bring up the same wallpaper that I used downstairs, at least into this room here. And I also just brought up some items that I didn't use downstairs, but I still wanted to use in the house, including this here. The last swatch is like the black and white version. So I think I'm gonna start over here by building like a play area. So maybe in our hallway area over here by the tent, we could do that chair there from Paranormal, this tiny living rug. 
Maybe a painting. I've been avoiding the wall art in this house. We could do one of these though. Paranormal coming in so clutch, which is funny because that pack is so colorful. What about eco lifestyle? Maybe we should check that out again. It really helped us out outside, but I haven't really been using it on the inside. But we do have a table here and this one here. The last swatch is black. We've also got that there. Maybe we can bring that ottoman that I found over here with that bin from eco lifestyle. And for lighting, I still want to bring in the chandelier aspect. So I'm going to use that one there from vampires, just like the smaller version. So there is our upstairs hallway area. I was thinking about doing this as another seating area, but we did end up fitting one downstairs. We could do one with like a bookshelf over to this side. It could maybe be like a reading area. We could fit those two from Realm of Magic in there. The last swatch is black. Actually, maybe that base game one fits the vibe a little bit better. So we've got some paranormal chairs in here. The rug that I used is from Werewolves. And this desk over here, also from Paranormal, we're gonna get a chair. Hopefully just like an office chair, like a regular color one. Oh yes, okay, last swatch we've got there is black. We can put a computer up here, maybe like that one. And we're gonna need to add some plants in here to pull it all together. Okay, so our upstairs study area slash like hall slash reading room <laughs> is looking like this. I really like the bookshelf kind of pushed into the wall like that. Our chairs, everything thankfully matching. You guys, I'm gonna link the other video for the last time I did this down below. It looked nothing like this. We do have a bathroom that we're gonna do first before doing the other bedrooms. I think I'm gonna use that white flooring there from base game. And for my wallpaper, I don't wanna use as many patterns as I did downstairs. So I'm trying to find something that's not as patterny. Maybe we could use that and then find like a darker flooring. It's still patterny, but not as patterny. I'm realizing that some of these like default swatches are also the last swatch, which is funny. I think in this one, I'm also gonna do a shower there. We'll do a toilet right beside it. Just like hiding right there, our toilet paper. And then on the other side, we'll have room right here for our sink. And maybe this one, this one's looking a little more like an older bathroom. We can maybe use that sink as well to like go with that. And maybe we can use the same mirror that we used downstairs for that one there. The towels have been kind of like the worst part, although there is a blue swatch here. Like the last swatch for this one is different than this one. That one got the overhaul, I guess. But we can do blue towels over here. I'll just like shrink that one, put that there, put this one on the other side. Maybe we could put this cabinet here like above the toilet. And for the bath mat, I've been having a hard time finding a last swatch for the bath mat. So maybe we'll just leave it, but I feel like I need like a plant or something in here. Maybe we can do this small like black swatch one right here, just kind of squeezed over a bit. And there is our second bathroom all complete. I think I want to do the kids bedroom next. Let's do it over here kind of by like that stuff right there. Maybe for this room, we could use that wallpaper there from Cottage Living. What do we have for last swatches? We do have this one. We could do a bunk bed. Actually, this one matches pretty good. This is from Tiny Living. It's got like this orangey swatch matching the wallpaper. We could do this blue rug here from My First Pet Stuff. Maybe that end table there also from Tiny Living. What do we have here for toys? There's a couple right there that look pretty cute. What about, oh, this guy? This cat toy matches. There's like an orange thing on their neck there that can go in the corner. We'll do one of these above the bed. We're gonna need a dresser. This is another one that's default, but like the last swatch. So we're gonna be using this over here. I feel like I should put like a fish tank or something or like a fish. Fish bowl, that's the default one. My goal here in this challenge by the end of it is to make everything look intentional. Like I want someone to take this off the gallery and have no idea that I didn't have many options for what I was doing. I do have a little more room in here. So I'm thinking that over here I could do a creativity table. There are a couple orange swatches in here too. So that can go right over here. This kid is gonna have a lot of stuff to do in here. I moved the bear over to this side and we can put another toy box over here too. Why not? So there we go. That is gonna be our kids room number one. And in the other home that I did, there were two kids. They shared a bedroom in the house that I made. So I'm actually going to do another kids room over here. I was thinking about using this wallpaper maybe for like the parent bedroom. I'm not really sure yet, but I wanna find one that has, ooh, we could do that. I did see a dream home decorator bed in the yellow swatch. So maybe we can pull that off in here. Like this bed here had the yellow swatch that's going to match my wallpaper. So I'm going to put that maybe like right along that wall there, or maybe the pink bear like over in the corner. Why are there so many crafting tables for kids? There are so many from like different packs in here in different types, but all really doing the same thing. I found this rug here from City Living. The pink swatch is the last one. We could do the crying cloud mirror above the bed. Maybe this massive cats and dogs end table that I literally had to shrink. The lava lamp, those are only one swatch. And maybe the matching table over here. This 
ended up so pink. That's gonna be the dresser there. I also had to shrink it because it's huge. We can do a purple mirror right there. Maybe just some like default posters here. So we've got the pink and the orange, some default fairy lights. Oh, these are actually cute too. The last one is white. I can hang these underneath my curtains. Oh, and these too. Okay, I'm gonna put these over here. <laughs> Hanging lights are saving the day in this bedroom. So our second kid's room did not turn out as bad as I thought it would. I didn't think we were gonna be able to find as much pink because there's not really a lot of it in any of the house at all. But now we have another cohesive looking kids room in here. Honestly, I think the best thing finding was that furniture there from Cats and Dogs and the rug really saving the day on this one. But with that room, we are ready to move on to the final room, which is going to be the parents' bedroom. And in here, I tried to do something a little bit different. I don't know how I feel about this carpet. This came with the pastel pop kit and everything else from that kit I love. I haven't tried this out yet though. It's supposed to be like a fluffy rug. This is the last swatch here, but there's also like, whoa, there's some crazy ones in here. I didn't even realize. This is like the default swatch. I don't know. We're gonna try it out. Let me know what you think. For the wallpaper, I was thinking about this decor to the max one, but I might try something a little bit more neutral. Maybe just like that regular paneling and then we can go in with like the black furniture again. So for our bed, I'm looking for one where the last swatch is hopefully black or of course is gonna be like all white now. Okay, we do have this one here from Eco Lifestyle. That looks very cozy. We don't need to put any rugs in here because the whole flooring is a rug. We will bring in the chandelier though. I'm gonna change the lighting in there so it's not so warm toned. So just changing the color to probably just like how we had it, like one of these ones. We're gonna use the same Realm of Magic lights that we used in the bathroom downstairs. We can use one of these fancy mirrors over here, maybe in the corner like that. That area looks so cute with the curtains there. I love that hack with the curtain mount. The vintage glamour ones are gray. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Okay, we're gonna either use that one, maybe on a diagonal, or we could also use the smaller version. Maybe we'll do that. If there's room for the taller one, I could put it like over here. Then that's just like a wardrobe area. It's a little bit slim back there, but we could pull it together with a plant in the corner, just like shrink it, stick it in there. I'm like avoiding putting up any artwork because I know it's just not gonna match. We could though, these are from high school years. There's like some shelving and you can hang clothes from it. I'm gonna just put some in there. Maybe some like semi-neutrals. <laughs> we can do some dream home decorator clutter over here. All of a sudden this person is very into like fashion. I just need something above the bed or maybe like on these walls over here. That isn't that bad with the brown. Ooh, and this actually from the pastel pop kit. Okay, so here is our bedroom. Honestly, I think it turned out pretty good considering there's obviously some things on here that weren't my first choice. Like I probably would have changed the colors of the curtains if I had the choice. But given what we got with this Sims 4 build challenge, I feel like it didn't turn out too bad. Let me know how you like this one in the comment section down below. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.